Hey guys, Lunacomplex here, and in my last video I mentioned Mog Hunter and the master file I used to um, incorporate the title effects and title changes and, and splash screens before the actual title, and some of you guys didn't even know anything about that, so what I'm going to do is show you how to download it and browse through it a little bit. So if you just go to Google and you type in Mog Hunter, the first link should be this right here. And once you get here, you're going to go to Downloads. RPG Maker MV JavaScript and I believe you can download any of these and it basically lets you download the master file. So I'm going to go ahead and click this battle hood, scroll all the way down and click the download button here. And it should be around 85 megabytes because that is this entire master file. Notice how it has 53 plugins instead of just the battle hood we clicked on. So if you just click download and it will download a zip file. All right, guys, once you're done downloading, you can either show all downloads or just drag drop this to your desktop. Go ahead, right click and extract here. All right, and once you're done extracting the file, you should have gotten two files, the hoods template and the actual Mogmaster VM. So double click the Mogmaster VM file, which is basically just the RPG Maker file and go ahead and click double click game and it will load you into RPG Maker MV. I'm just going to go over some of the really cool things that this includes. F4 will also let you view the game or any game in uh, full screen. F2 toggles FPS. All right, so in the very beginning, uh, there are a lot of things here I went over in my last video. If you haven't seen it, I basically cover the splash screens before this title and the credits here and the placement of these commands. So we're going to click new game. And right now, the <laughs> there are a lot of things occupying the screen. You may have noticed some of these things are actually copywritten, like this character here. Well, I'm not sure if that's actually usable in anything, but regardless, there is a disclaimer. Some of the things here, the graphics and sound bites, are not fair use. <laughs> they are copyrighted by companies and blah blah blah. So just make sure you take the plugins and give credit, obviously, to the maker. And make sure you have your own graphics and your own sounds, or the ones that come with RPG Maker that you've paid with a license for. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to go over, I guess it's changing day now or something? Alright, so there's some uh, tints and stuff like that that are added to the time of day. As you can see, there's a clock up here. But let's go and talk to this Pixie Filters. And now we can pick a blur filter. So, the game is all blurry. We have a pixelated filter, which is really cool. I wonder if you could just make a game and put this filter over and it looks like a very retro styled game. We also have invert, so all the colors are inverted. We have the gray filter. So everything but the hood is grayed out. We have the dot screen filters, which is kind of neat, although I probably will never use this, but it's like a comic book kind of thing, so maybe for flashbacks, I guess. We have more filters. We have color set. We have crosshatch. We have RGB split filter, so, whoa, that is, that's interesting. <laughs> and we have twist filter, so that, that's just, man, imagine playing a game like this. Oh, and it goes away. Awesome. I don't think there was anything else. Oh, you can remove a filter if you're still in here. All right, pixie animations, blur. So right before you come into battle, you can use these dot screen except this one just stays on the screen so that's kind of neat we have more color step RGB split oh man that's just something something's going down boss or something we have twist so <laughs> this is great look at this oh man which way am I going oh man I have no idea how much is this gonna twist it's distorting the image like more and more I think I'll just leave it like this for a sec. Alright, so it ends up going back the other way. That's that's cool. And then we can remove filter. Alright, time system. Whoop, guess we step into that. Alright, cool. We now have a compass up there. That's kind of neat. Oh, and the compass tells us where that monster is and how many steps it is away. Anyway, talk to this little person here. Spring. I guess we are in spring. Summer. Summer clouds? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Sunshine. That's just... Whoa. We have the fall. 
Oh, that is cool. Trees. Look at that. We have winter. Look at the snow. Oh my god, this is awesome. These trees don't go transparent. They're like my trees, though, so... Mm. And then back to spring. And then we have this person. Please select your clock. Four to three hours. Moves it four to three hours. Can we do it again? Cool. What else can we do? Forward one day of a month. Of month. One day of month. One day? Like... Okay, so that's just one day. In one month. What? What is this? Got one potion. I guess that's what we had to do to get a potion. Let's go in this... Open after 9 p.m. Oh, you know what that means. We have to keep doing this. Can I, can I open after 9 p.m.? Come on. There we go. I guess it's just a cool way to, you know, have doors and stuff unlock after a certain time. Now, there's a monster here, but... Okay, well, we're going into combat. Alright, so the combat system. It's laid out really, really well like this is amazing so we can fight and we have our little wheel here which you can also scroll with your scroll wheel and um not sure if you can drag these you can click it though but it automatically goes to that one that you click or touch with the touch screen so we're gonna go ahead and attack that bat we're gonna use an item i don't know x potion something or you're going to guard we're gonna use some magic. Stone. Alright. Oh, and it died in one hit, so that's great. We won, guys. Yeah! XP, some gold, potions. Look at that. Alright, let me get the mouse out of there. So, we have a level up, new skill, mu multiple skills. Again, multiple skills. More skills. That's a really cool effect with all the letters coming in like that from the right side of the screen. Alright, and then we have, uh, down at the lower left, we have a hood of our HP, mana, TP, XP level, and the name of the character. And I wonder... If we switch... Yeah, it switches them. I mean, that was, I guess, that was definitely supposed to happen. And in our menu, we also have... Um, we have time, day, day of week, month, year, season, and playtime, and gold. And we have a photo gallery here, where we can look at photos and pictures. Look at that. She about to shoot you. It's probably copywritten. It's probably copywritten. It looks like an anime. No data. Hmm. Music book. Play some musics. Look at that. Can we go further into the song? Nope. Battle for freedom. Alright. Formation status, equipped skill. These are probably all just laid out, you know, regularly. As you may have noticed also in the background, there's a picture and a particle effect. It's really cool. And you could change that picture based on what character and um, what section of the menu you're in. So for skill, for example, and stuff like that. And at the lower right hand side of the screen, we have gold. Just a hood for gold. All right, let's get out of here. All right, hoods. Actor hood, gold hood, time hood, treasure, disable. Oh man, that's... we're shaking. Alright, so we got rid of those. So we could disable the hoods if we wanted to. We can enable them. Which makes them shake. Battle back EX. Alright, so if we enable it, we get a really cool animated background. Which is a lot better than what we had before. All right, let's talk to this dude. Oh, just another battle. With lots of effects, look at that. I'm just gonna attack. All right, we're gonna go for the combos here. Is there a triple combo? Oh, man, that's difficult to get up. Yeah, this X. Oh, we got a triple combo. All right, that's a lot of fun. Not gonna lie, the triple combo here goes by really quickly. But we did it! Alright, so those are the battle tests. Imagine this one's not so much different. That guy looks big though, we're gonna escape. Alright. Shatter effect. Let's go to normal. That is just... that's too cool. It's gone. 
We gotta go back. Random. Gravity. Ooh. That, that one could be sped up a bit to make it sound, seem like it's exploding more, I guess. Alright. What is this? Alright, guys, so Yuri Yuri is, um, it's like a math game. <laughs> Alright, so 34 minus 9. Here we go. Gotta type in 25. Okay. Yeah, we did it. Alright, 48 minus 0. Yeah, we did it, guys. What is that? I don't know that off the top of my head. And we gotta wake you up? Like, really? I don't know off the top of my head. That's too much. Correct answer, of course. Oh, I know that one. No! Yeah. You win! Oh, look at that. I won. Cool. Then we have my favorite. We have a rhythm game. Look at this. Yes, I'm ready. Press any key. Oh, Z. I'm getting ready. <laughs> yeah. So we got up. We got right. Hey. What? Oh, cool. Whew, I was like, what? Where is it? All right, we got a max chain and all these other numbers. So yeah, that's um, the ret rhythm. All right. Please select a destination. Fire crystal. This shows us where the fire crystal is. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Water crystal. Shows us where the water crystal is. We got earth. You know, it's just a compass. It's kind of like the other place we went to. We got air or wind. Show and hide. Hide compass. So we can hide the compass. We can show the compass. All that fun stuff. All right, and then probably a favorite for a lot of people is weather EX. So we have a snow effect. We have one, we have two, two again, and <laughs> we have three. So that's that's very cool. Like you, this is amazing. You could use these for so many things. And we have fire. So it's basically like kind of the same thing, but not really. We're gonna have like a light effect of particles. We're gonna have different effect of particles, and then we're gonna have a main kind of on-screen thing. Actually, no, those ones stay... Whoa, those actually... Looks like fire bugs or something. Light bugs? Whatever they're called? Wind effects. So actually, that one's very different. I like that. Because it's it sticks to the actual world. Oh, man, that's so cool. We got our rain effects. Oh, man. That's, that's crazy. It's like water gushing everywhere. Got some clouds. I'm not sure if you could run both of these at the same time, but... Man, that's that's really cool. Miscellaneous effects. Random. Oh, man. More random. Ooh. That's cool. It looks like something's rotating. Whoa, and it stays on the screen as well. See, I, I think this is my favorite. Spark Effect 3. Definitely. Does it stay? Oh, it doesn't stay. Oh, well. Then we got our picture event. Get back here. Oh, it's gone. So we got our pictures on the map. It's it's like um, Yanfly's sort of thing. All right, event sensor. Just senses where the character is. And then we have that guy who can see us if we walk in his line of sight. And we can go ahead and just destroy this slime. All right, and then there's this chicken. Must catch the chicken. All right, and I imagine this is the last thing, particles. So we got our particles. Yeah, that, that's basically it. I believe I'm not missing anything else out. What's really cool is if you get close to your hood there, it does go away. Or it um, becomes transparent. That was basically it, guys. Um, I'm not going to go in full detail with all of the plugins here, but they are all here for you to utilize in your video game. You just have to... They're in Portuguese, so it's kind of... It may take some time, um, definitely trial and error base to get these to work that's kind of what i had to do for the weather effect basically change something see if you notice it in the game and then you finally know what that does and if you're wondering how in the world do you do some of these things for example if we go to the weather effects place and we go to the uh what was this one spark effects 
we see that for the third effect, we just need to type this, weather 561 light underscore 01B, and then that will give us that particular thing. And to look for the plugin, we'd have to look in here for mog weather EX, double click it, go to your help, and then you can see a lot of effects here. And an example would be this right here. And just make sure while you're trying to implement these, if you are doing this, with the main file here, make sure you transfer all the images that you need. So like for weather, we have to move this weather file over and take some of these out. But keep in mind that some of these may be copywritten. I'm not sure exactly which ones are and are not. So you'd have to kind of get your own effects or search for some free ones online or something like that. And for like other things, it's basically all just plugin commands. You have to find the right plugin to use and then know exactly the plugin command to use for that plugin and then you can get your desired effect also keep in mind of some things like control switches um, which ones may be also used so for these uh, i'm sure when we were trying to locate the crystal that our compass was pointing to that maybe one of these was flipped on and we can actually go and check that right now if we go to the compass world we talk to this lady here we see that we switch basically every compass we're not wanting to search for so like when fire turn fire on and then turn the others off so it's all kind of in here so what you may want is basically kind of isolated in this area you look for it the only really hard ones to try and get down are the battle plugins those ones are a lot of these battle ones right here i imagine it's all of these battle so like these might all be for just battling but i can't be exactly sure i am trying to implement it into one of my other games but some things were just going wrong so i may try and figure that out later and make a whole tutorial about that because i'm not gonna lie i love that rotational wheel thing to select what action you want to do during a battle it looks just like a lot of fun <laughs> And I believe that's in battle commands right here. And then we got our hoods down here. We got our menu stuff here. So your menu backgrounds, your menu particles, scroll bar, menu cursor, weather, picture effects, pixie filters, the compass. At least these um, plugin names are pretty self-explanatory. And we got our chain command. So if you actually want to implement those, you'd have to grab all that. Matter of fact, I think all of these right here are mostly the battle related stuff but like i said you're gonna have to play with it in trial and error but yeah guys um sorry i'm not really going over any tutorials i just wanted to show you guys this this amazing thing people need to add in all of their video games because yen flies plugins are ungodly amazing and then so are these and together probably create the best game in the universe oh and these guys up here have breathe modes so and then other commands uh, these are comments, but I'm pretty sure they just get compiled as actions to put to those guys. So they look like they're breathing or whatever. And if um, you walk through this door, it does actually clear weather, clears other stuff, filters, clears. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you definitely check some of these out. Like I said before, very worth putting in your video game. And thanks for watching.